Pasal? Pasal ni kibun ayai. Pasal? back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me you may not always see the result of your kindness, but every bit of positive energy you contribute to this world makes it a better place for all of us. Walk one, my people. Open body, no cake. Open body, no right. Stay focused on your goals, your peace, and your happiness. Don't waste time on anything that doesn't contribute to your growth. Let me tell somebody something. Every day above ground is a blessing. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. Paper the caucus bag full. Who and only person thing I go on and no one's me there. Me I come come tell no one go on, power go on already. You understand? Not a day I'm find myself alive. So I can just dip in that caucus bag and start getting the paper them some news. A 22 year old tattoo artist of Burns Savant in from Westmoreland has been charged with rape after he allegedly sexually assault a 14 year old girl. Charge is Corinne Johns, otherwise called Gaza Inc. Report reached on news that on September 21st, the 14 year old girl went to Johnson to get a tattoo on her leg. On completion of the service, it is alleged that Johnson held her down and forcefully raped her. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched. Johnson was subsequently arrested and charged following an interview. His court date is being finalized. I know one way for people are come and come and say, Well, look at the like that, I get tattoo. Why should I go to school? Where this, where that? But let me tell you something. Remember, you were once a child and your little friend them did go do this. CM thing, you understand? Make a focus on the real part of the thing, the man. And that part, they want to focus on. Make the little tattoo on the leg and them look at something they can't afford. The teeth out and go here and go there. When the parents don't know, people, I'm not come come show those two and go like seven and no, I go on, I go on. For the young two, you know. But anyway, make I move on with the news. The man, them in a sentence, this side say, oh, they never never rise the machine, them. The man, them rise some cutlass and rise some knife. And guess so, go on, power, go on, people. You know what, here? I'm a tough fuck. Listen, the man. A 21 year old man is dead or not hospitalized after a bashhead and knife wheeling brawl in Miami Bay section of the parish Tuesday morning. The deceased has been identified as Miami Bay resident Romario Hay. Alwyn Lawrence of No Fix Address is in St. Anne's Hospital in serious but stable condition. Report reaching our news team that Hay, based on recommendations made by Lawrence, bought a car in Mandeville on Tuesday. A approached Lawrence to discuss mechanical problems the car had developed. A fight began between two of the men, and A allegedly used a machete to inflict wounds to Lawrence's head. Yes, paper, the man, chop up the man, jelly paper. Lawrence then allegedly used a knife to stab A to the left side of his chest and shoulder. Both were taken to the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital. And guess what, people? He died while undergoing treatment. That is not where that is concerned. Watch it now in a climb and my gun. Triple murder. Yes, I have some picture I can show the people them. I want the crime scene. So nobody worry yourself. Watch it make I start the news the right way. The body of a man was found along the Spring Plain Main Road in Milk River, Clarendon, Tuesday morning. Report reaching our news team that about 12.40, persons stumbled upon the body and summoned the police. Upon the arrival of the police, the man was seen lying in a pool of blood. And guess what, people? He had multiple gunshot wounds. Yes, yes, yes. Multiple gunshot wounds. Dead, dead, dead. Right on the spot. But watch it now. I can go right to a toll gate. A businessman and his spouse was gone down at the entrance of their home in Tollgate, Clarendon on Tuesday evening. They have been identified as 61-year-old Evan Francis and his wife, 46-year-old Alicia Francis. Report reaching on news team that about 5.30 p.m. the couple arrived at their Duke Street Tollgate home in separate vehicle. Mr. Francis got out of his vehicle and proceeded to open the gate to the house when gunmen proceed and open fire on the couple before fleeing. The police were alerted and upon the arrival on the scene, 
found Mr. Francis lying on his back in front of his Nissan Caravan motor vehicle, suffering from gunshot wounds to the upper body and right wrist, while Mrs. Francis was slumped over the front seat of a Toyota Corolla Fielder with gunshot wound to the head and upper body. They were pronounced dead right past spot, and people, if you don't believe me, then the picture can't show you, and nobody, nobody come tell me, say, yo, they pronounced dead in the hospital. No, 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 we don't have to wait for that. We are pronounced dead body when we say it these days. Unconfirmed reports are that the deceased are related to taxi driver Kendrick Francis, who was shot and killed in Tollgate on Monday. Yes, they must say I'm son and them look at the people. But we don't know how that really go yet. And some other rest of people say, yo, my view. I land them a fight over the guy now. Land them a fight over and see there. That make them dead. Anyway, people may come over and with the news. They said they deported them, come back and them and them start give big trouble already. Yes, me know said them come back, you know. So watch what you are going for, go on now. News and now come for the news. Right round the tower, Ilma gone. My road man, them step round the tower, he last night and slap our youth named Richie. And we know what only for people are going to say, but my view. You know, said so this is a war you come from. The Tommy Diamond Son war. And no, 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 no. That I have nothing to do with it. No, no, no. Richie, a long, long, long time trouble maker before Tommy Diamond son never get trouble. This are the news on the Naga here upon the news. Richie, them a long time bad boy. And remember, so Richie, them did have to run the front of what he did. Violence make them run away. So we don't know what make him come back in a place. And guess what? Me say, they said they deported them rich. Yes, they deported them from Marlowe rich. Because the same way they Richie and them and them, they reach up all the foreign people. Yes, right up Uncle Sam country. So the man them just say, okay, you come back in the place. The same place we at up and run left. Alright, so we are gonna come flash out your jelly. And people, I can confirm that Richie Jelly boss. You understand? We have the picture can show the people them. Look up this video still so nobody worry yourself. Circle ends and come come look on it. And as me say, this are the news and I have come upon the news. So me almost done the review. I never get for telling about that party. Cause you know so once you go up on crime scene, people are gonna chat a whole heap of things. gonna hear a whole heap of story. But as me said before. Tommy Diamond, why them now stretch come so far? The people them say, watch them man a top killer. They didn't know. Everybody knows him is a top killer. Really, 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 really bad man. So they didn't understand. Oh, him come back, right as so come dead. But hold on, skip that. I'm not going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you about Devon Run and PD Blacks. Yes, that's how I'm going to tell you about. No, because he's me called right as so to win people. Devon Run man, them say, watch him. He's an informer. He's a carry news to PD Blacks. Everybody know who is PD Blacks. Understand? Ask Andrew, yes. Ask Andrew, who is Penny Black. Andrew will tell you. And then, only we know more. But keep back and relax, man. I soon come back and go to some more news. You want to go on, I want to go on now. So you see the man, I'm going to go to the I'm going to show you the accident from Kansas Spring Road. But guess what, I never get to tell you now. I'm not going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to make commissioner come, come tell you himself. Bus seemed to have plowed into the back of one vehicle, pushing it into other vehicles. Um, and the, the vehicle it plowed into seemed to have been a black pickup and it had stopped. So, interestingly enough, when I checked, I had them check the, uh, on the driver of that coaster, there's 120 outstanding tickets. And this is a point that I have been making in this whole business of what happens on our roads until when the police issue these tickets, it matters. We will continue to have these people doing all kinds of things on the road. So they, they were looking forward to it. We had some discussions recently about when the new regulations of the traffic, Road Traffic Act comes into force and the other challenges that they are in the system to get the proper consequences associated with breaches of the Traffic Act. So that is that way that is concerned. Watch out now, people. We have something for you to listen. Here we are going, power, we are going now. As gangsters continue to wreak havoc on the nation, one former Portmore resident recounts the terror she endured at the hands of criminals. Having watched Godman murder her son before putting a gun to her head and setting her house ablaze, she questions where is the justice for the average Jamaican? The woman who is now in hiding has been given a pseudonym to further protect her identity. Still in hiding, she reminisces on the happier days she's had before criminals born and raised in their gritty Gregory Park community, a place called Bangagoli, turned on her family. 
Betty, as we've called her for this story, no longer has the luxury of watching her grandson grow. Though he's all she has left of her son who was brutally murdered by gangsters last year, April. She returns to the haunting memory in tears. The light was gone and I hear a licking on the house, but we didn't hear the licking in the mind. But my son now say, you know, go outside, go see for everywhere. The light gone. The man said to him, say, shut it, don't go. The middle afraid that night that me, I tell him, don't go there. But eventually, China, we are with it. Yeah. He pulled the door and me and him go outside. We have the phone light. And I, when we went outside on the veranda, the man them was already on the veranda. One of them, him grab on to my son, shoot him right in his belly. My son get four shot into his belly. And and when I asked them, say, I really in my yard, you don't come to kill me, pick me. It was, the plan was to kill the whole, the whole of us and burn down our house. Oh. So one more when he named the He shoot my son now one more time in front of me. So when I say, I really know me, I don't know come to kill my son, he fight the gun in my feet. So I went inside and locked the door. After two more bullets and more interrogation, the mother listened from inside the house in anguish. She sought help from a military man and neighbors whose lives have since been threatened. One of the accused in the mayhem has since been slain by the police during a confrontation in the community. Her reaction was one of relief. And he always been sending threats to kill my daughter. Father, Black like Friday, when I see it on YouTube, so them kill him. I was so glad. So they are in the area and people in the area know that they are gunmen? Of course, people in the area know, but their problem that them no one dead, but lady, me willing because them killed me from the fifth of April 2021. However, her life has been in chaos since. Betty says through it all, she's not received any support, either to rebuild, bury her son, or continue with her life, while the criminals roam freely. How do you want to see justice prevail? But I've realized there is no justice in Jamaica if you are poor. And I used to work with solid waste and I can't work anymore because I've been hiding. 